Hey guys, Kelly here. We're going to do a flash sale on some short necklaces. So again, what I'm going to do is show you the necklace, give you a number, and you message me to see if it's still available. Everything is five bucks each. Uh, the necklaces come with a free set of earrings, and everything is lead and nickel free. If you have any questions, make sure you message me. So let's get rolling. We're going to start with a rose gold. It's number 722. You can see you have your little earrings and then your cute little necklace that matches. Again, this is going to be a little bit shorter. All the necklaces do have a two inch extender on them. If I can get a hold of it. So you can change the size just a little bit. This one is nice and dainty. It is going to be a shorter necklace and hang up here. Again, number 722, rose gold. Uh, let me get a stand here so I can show y'all. I'll go ahead and show you this one. This is number 398 and number 431. As you can see, it's blue, silver. It is a shorter necklace. The uh, bead earrings match everything here. So it's $5 per piece. So it's $5 for the necklace, $5 for the bracelet. I would like to sell this one as a set, so it would be $10 for all that you see here. Again, this is number 398 and number 431. Now we're gonna borrow this board to show you the other necklaces. Next is gonna be 611. This is gonna be gold with the clear stones. It's a nice faceted stone. Beautiful necklace. It has the two inch extender. It's gold with the clear stones all the way around. The light just got terrible in here. There we go, that's a little better. Gorgeous, gorgeous gold. It's number 611. Next is gonna be number 276. I'm gonna turn this down maybe and see if we can't get rid of some of that glare. Number 276 is gonna be gold. You get your gold tassel earrings. And then you have the smaller chain, and it's gonna have the little key shape here, and you do have a clear stone here on the bottom of the key. I'm not sure why this is picking up this light like this. But again, this is gold with the clear stone here on the key, and that is number 276. Number 422 is also gonna be gold. If you're uh, little gold beaded earrings. And this is a very simple necklace. Love this one. You have kind of your uh, serpentine chain. It's a nice smooth chain. And then you have a little gold bar here that slides on the chain. Super cute, very comfortable. This is a nice smooth chain. And again, it's gonna be number 422. Next is going to be number 604, and again it's going to have your gold tassel earrings. This has the smaller open link chain, and your little pendant here says, Be Beautiful. Very nice piece if you want something just simple to wear every day. Again, that's going to be number 604. Let's see if I can get that to show better for you. Number 604. Next we're gonna go silver and purple. It's number 466. You have your purple bead earrings. And then your necklace. Again, has the open link. And you have your matching beads and silver. This camera does not like when I change directions. So we'll just show it like this. That way you can see the color on it better. So you can see it's purple and silver. This is uh, fixed here, so it does not move on your chain. It is solitary, or not solitary, but fixed so it doesn't move. It's number 466, it's purple and silver. 
Next, we're going to have number 444, and it's going to be purple and silver. You have your purple bead earrings. This purple is a little, it's not quite as shiny. It's kind of uh, milky purple, if that makes any sense. Let's see if I can get it to show here for you. Again, you have your two layers here on the bottom. You have a single layer of chain, and this is a little bit of a bigger chain. I would say it's a medium size open link chain. And then you have your two layers of purple beads here. This is really cute. This would look great in the springtime with the bright colors. Again, that's number 444. It's the purple and silver. This one is going to be number 655. Again, it's purple and silver. So you have your bead earrings. And this is more of a little bit of a matte finish on the beads. They're not polished. They're shiny, but they're not polished. This is really cute. It has all these rings and then your bead here in the center. Again, that's number 655. Purple and silver. This purple is a little lighter than what it's showing here on the camera. I do have that same necklace in blue. It's going to be number 620. And it's going to be kind of a, a teal blue. Really cute though. I love the style of this. It's going to hang really nicely on your neck. Being a shorter necklace, it's going to hang up here like this. And again, this is like a teal color blue. And it's number 620. Next, we're going to do some orange. It's number 350. And you have your orange bead earrings. And then your necklace is going to have the medium size open link chain. And then all these really cool beads. They're orange. And these are more of a tan color. And you do have some that are clear in the orange. Really cute necklace. Again, this is number 350. Let's see if I can. There you go. Great color combination. It's going to hang really nice on the neck. It's number 350. next one is going to be orange and silver. It's number 282. You have your smaller beaded earrings, one silver, one orange, and it's kind of a burnt orange. This one does have three layers. And then you have your orange and silver here in the center. Again, you have three chains here, and it comes down. They are fixed, so this does not move on the chain. It is Stationary, that's the word I'm looking for, stationary. And there you go, if you can see those colors, they're kind of a burnt orange. This would actually probably look really good with this shirt. It's number 282. Next we have number 517, and this is going to be silver or a light gray color. Give you beaded earrings. And then your beaded necklace, number 517. Again, you have your open link, medium sized chain here. And then all these cute, what is there? There's three, four beads. There's the larger and the smaller. And they're silver or gray color. I'm gonna hold it this way so you can see the color. Really cute necklace. Again, that's number 517. This is going to be number 117, and it's going to be black or gunmetal colored. Give you cute little cubes on your earrings, and then the cubes here on the necklace. They're on uh, kind of like a bar, and then they do spin on the bar. They don't move on the chain side to side, but they do spin around on the bar. Really cute necklace. Not sure how well that will show up on there. 
Again, it's a uh, gunmetal gray color or black. It's a darker. It's number 117. <clears throat> This is number 616, and this is going to be multicolors. It's got brass and bronze and silver. Here's your cute earrings. And then here's your necklace. Isn't that cool? You have your silver, copper, and brass. I'm trying to get the glare off of it for you. There you go. This is a really cute, fun necklace. Number 616. There you go. You can see that a little better. This next one is number 635, and it's going to be turquoise blue and silver. You read little turquoise colored beads. And the beads do have a little bit of the brown veining in them. And then you have this really cool little fan shape necklace with the matching blue beads here between each silver. I'm not sure why this light, there we go. You can see you have the blue turquoise colored beads here and then your silver and you do have a uh, black design in your silver pieces. Again, it's number 635. Really cute piece. Number 13 is going to be brass. Your cute little earrings. I think this is called endangered species or something like that. Kind of tribal looking. Really cute necklace. Again, it's brass and there will be number 13. It does have two chains here on the center. And then the uh, fun kind of diamond triangular shape pieces here. Again, that's number 13. This is number 761, and this is going to be, I'm just going to call it silver and clear. Your earrings are clear, but they have a little bit of a gray tint to them. And then the necklace has the bigger open link here and then separates into two. Isn't that cute? Has the silver and then the kind of clear gray colored. And I think if you wear these with a brighter color, it's going to pick up on the color you wear. Super cute little necklace. It's number 761. This is going to be number 736, and it is the uh, gunmetal or black color. Your cute little earrings, and that is a little dark gray, almost a blue colored stone in there. And then you have your short necklace. Isn't that cute? And that's number 736. And it's a short, so it's going to hang about here. That would look really good with this shirt, too. Might have to take that one home with me. I like that. It's number 736, if you want to claim that one. Number 717 is going to be blue and silver. You have your smaller beaded earrings. And then it comes down into this really cool uh, darker blue pendant. And there are clear stones here. It kind of has a hood around the stone. I'm not sure if you can see how that is. It kind of folds over the top of the stone a little bit. It's really cool. That's number 717, blue and silver. This is going to be number 622. And this is going to be a clear stone and silver. You have your little clear rhinestone earrings. And I love this necklace. It has the finer chain. And then these all have the uh, clear rhinestones in them. This is two 
marquee cut stones next to each other and then a single and then a circle and then you have your teardrop here I know prom season is here this would be perfect for prom gorgeous necklace I love this one I did keep one of these had to go home with me and that's number 622 Number 237, you're going to have your tassel silver earrings and a little bit finer chain. Then it comes down into a single pendant with a white stone here in the center. And it has the uh, antique finish around it. Really cute. It's number 237. Again, it's white and silver. It almost looks like there are stones around that, but that's just the silver work on it. Number 189 is going to be pink and silver. Cute pink earrings. Well, put it on backwards. Hang on. Again, it's going to be a finer chain. And then the pink... Hang on, my light is not wanting to cooperate. So we will do this. Again, it's a really bright, vibrant pink. And then you have your uh, design around the outside of the stone. It's a clear stone. It is not faceted. It's clear, smooth stone. And that's number 189. love this one it's number 271 you have your silver tassel earrings and your finer chain and then this adorable little kind of diamond shape or triangle shape with your pink stone in the center I think the color shows better on my hand actually really really pretty piece it's number 271 pink and silver. Next is going to be a turquoise necklace. It's going to be number 22. You have your small turquoise bead earrings. And then you have four strands of chain that come down into this pendant. And this does slide on the chain really cute turquoise it's number 22 and most of these necklaces guys I only have one of if I have more than one I'll let you know so if you see something you like you need to go ahead and claim it or it may not be there when you go to claim it <clears throat> number 606 is going to be another turquoise the earrings here have a little more of a teardrop shape they are flat they're not completely round all the way around, if that makes sense. They have a little flatter shape to them. And then you have a little bit of a different chain here. I'm not even sure what to call this chain. It's kind of like a box chain, but it's not squares. It's round. And then you have your single pendant. Again, I think the color is showing better on my hands. Isn't that adorable? Love the shape of that. It's number 606. Number 395. It's going to be silver and gray. Or silver. Not sure if you want to call that gray or silver. It's a faceted little bead. And then your necklace has the matching beads down here on the circles. I'm going to put it on here so you can kind of see how it hangs on your neck. Isn't that cute? Has all the circles and then the little uh, gray or silver faceted beads. It's number 395. Love this one. Super cute. <clears throat> number 134 is going to be black or gunmetal. And it's going to have the hammered finish on the front. 
And this one I am going to hang on here so that you can see how it hangs. If I can get the angle right, there we go. So you can see it's got the hammered finish on all of the uh, circle shapes here. Really cute necklace. Again, it's the black or uh, gunmetal color, and that's going to lay like this. Really cute necklace. It's number 134. Next one is a little arrowhead shaped necklace. It's number 450. You have your tassel earrings has the fine chain and then has the little arrowhead shape here with the white stone and the kind of hammered finish here around the edges but you do have your smaller white stone here again it's number 450 number 419 is going to be white and silver you have your little white disc earrings and they do have kind of a pearl finish to them. So they do pick up a little bit of a pink or blue tint depending on how you turn them. And this is number 419. Then you have your small necklace and just your single white. Again, this is flat. Just a nice simple white pearl drop. Very cute necklace, number 419. I do have two of those. Next is number 46. This one's called Hypnotized. This is one of our blockbuster pieces. That means if I sell out, I can always get you another one. Just let me know. So it'll be number 46. And this is another one that'll be perfect for prom season. Check this out. Isn't that gorgeous? These are all circle links, and they are a little bigger, a little more open. I'm trying to get the color. And then you have your big clear stones here on each one of these. Again, this is number 46. This is a gorgeous piece. This would be great for proms, weddings. It's almost wedding season. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of urban pieces, the urban collection. The urban collection is unisex necklace, so it does not come with earrings, but it's still the $5. So this one will be number 776, and it's blue, and it does have the bead closure. The bead goes just simply through the circle there. And then you have your nice knot work here blue cord with the silver. And that's going to be number 776. This one's going to be number 310. Again, it's got the bead closure. This is leather and it has brown and green wrap around it. It does need to be shaped. It's been hanging, so it's a little oblong but it is a really nice piece. Again, it's number 310. It's leather with the brown and green cord wrapping on it. And this one is number 659. This one has kind of a push pin. If you can see that, it just pushes in and locks. And again, it's a leather cord. It has this really cool feather. And I'm holding backwards. Sorry. There you go. And that is number 659. I do have two of that one. Back to the ladies' necklaces with the earrings. It's going to be a nice green color. I call it spring green. It's kind of lime green. It has a kind of a moonstone tint to it. Isn't that cute? So you have your flat 
stone and then it has these wrap the wraps around it and this is called bubbles because it's all the circles super cute it's number 738 number 764 is also going to be a green it's a little bit of a different color of green There's your beaded earrings in the green, and then you have your two chains here, and that does move. The center is stationary, but it does slide around on the chain a little bit. Then you have your different colors of green beads. You have some that match the earrings and some that are clear, and some that are almost white or see-through. Really cute spring colors, number 764. And that's going to hang really nice around the neckline. Super cute, number 764. This one is going to be rose gold. It's going to be number 745. And it's rose gold. And you have your two little clear uh, rainstones and the earrings. And all these earrings are the fish hook style. Real easy to put in and out. Then you have this cute little circle pendant, and there are clear stones here in your pendant. They are kind of a marquee shape. If you can see that any better. Really cute necklace. Again, it's rose gold. It's going to hang about there. Really cute. Next one is going to be a black necklace, number 772. You have your disc-shaped earrings here. And there are lines. If you can see that. has a little texture to it. Then you have your big open chain. And then your matching necklace here. It's going to hang like that when you wear it. Again, it is the black, and it does have the lines textured. Number 772. Love this one. I do have two of this one. Next is going to be number 7. It's going to be pink and silver. It's your cute pink beaded earrings. And then you have this really cute silver and pink beaded necklace. This one's going to hang really nice too. It's going to kind of fan out like that for you. Isn't that cute? And that is number seven. It's pink and silver. Love this one. This is so cute. You do have some uh, silver beads mixed in there as well. Like baby pink, here are some baby pink pearls. It'll be number 590. And I know they're going to look white on here, but they're baby pink. And I love these. These are so cute. It's got the medium size open link chain. And then your pink, baby pink pearls down here. I'll try to get the color to show better for you. This is so much prettier in person, guys. It really is. I love the color on this. And I do have two of this one. Isn't that cute? Hangs really nice. It's number 590, and I do have two of that one. These are going to be kind of a light brown pearl. It's number 624. Almost a cream color. And then you have your pearls that come down into a more open necklace. See your pearls come down on the sides to the open and then you have your pearls that hang from the silver here. This one is awesome too. I love this one. And it's going to hang really nice when you open it up. 
number 624. Might even call those champagne color. Really cute. I have some blue pearls for you. It's number 219. It's your blue pearl earrings. And then the necklace has a couple of silver beads and then the faceted uh, clear kind of gray smoky beads. This is really pretty. This is an awesome necklace, guys. The blue on this is just beautiful. Again, that's number 219. That's going to be blue pearls. Love this one. This is going to be number 1B, and this is going to be seed beads. Seed beads being the small beads. You have your earrings, and then you have this really cute, kind of chunky pink seed bead. Again, it's been hanging. If you guys get any of the seed bead necklaces, and if they're not hanging straight, or you want to make them hang a little rounder, you can put this on and turn on your hair dryer and just kind of go over the top of it and warm it just a little bit and that'll warm up the uh, filament in there and you can kind of reshape this to make it fit a little rounder if you want it to fit more like that all you have to do is warm it up a little bit again this is number 1B and it's pink seed beads totally doesn't go with my shirt but you get the idea and again you can shape it make it Hang any way you'd like it. <clears throat> Next we have number 763. And this is going to be wood. You have ye your yellow wooden earrings, circle earrings. And then this is the brown cord. Isn't this cool? It's going to be a great summer necklace. You have three different strands with the bead in the center and then the separate disc around the outside. And then that's yellow with the brown cord. This is really cute, guys. This is gonna be great for summer. And again, that's number 763. And I only have one of these. Uh, and that's gonna be it for today. Um, again, if you see something that you like, give me a message and let me know the number of the item that you like and I'll see if it's still available. And then we'll work out either shipping or pickup, depending on where you live. And I hope you all enjoyed seeing the necklaces I have. I have a ton more, guys, but that's really all I have time to do today. I've been at a sale all day long, and I'm ready to go sit down for a little while. So I hope you all have a great weekend. See ya.